In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of June the 17th, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Are we like mustard seeds? Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, then when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables he did not speak to them. But to his own disciples he explained everything in private. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, again I ask you, do we try to resemble the mustard seed? I'm not going to speak about this, the smallest seed in the world. I'm going to go deeper. I really believe that we all in the presbytery should be humble enough and willing enough to learn the customs and the culture of the Lord Jesus Christ because he spoke in his time and many times we would like to try to explain what we're reading in the gospel with our own words with the culture of our of our time and that is a mistake let me explain this in two in two times the first time is this the Lord is saying the one that is scattering the seed who is that well God is and what is the seed he the Lord Jesus Christ the Logos eternal he is the seed that will fit into our hearts as long as we receive him in our with open hearts as long as we can make our hearts to be good soil that we don't reject him that we don't asphyxiate him with uh, spines and all kinds of stuff as it is told to us in the sower parable without us knowing how the good soil would produce good fruit and then the Lord goes on and says, he, he ups the ante, allow me to say that, because he says it is like the mustard seed. Yes, the mustard seed is the smallest, but yet it grows up. What is that in the spiritual terms? Well, that even though it is, seems to be insignificant, once we start loving the commandments of God, they will grow higher and higher within ourselves. So that everything will become minuscule that we will look towards the law of god and rejoice in it but that's not all what he wants is that we become like true mustard seeds and what are they in the first place they prevent illnesses yes they were to prevail to prevent illnesses and not only to prevent but also to cure sicknesses and illnesses you see so there is a direct correlation between being of Christ and healing everyone, starting with our own selves, by loving. And then it is humble. It does not pretend to be the cure for everyone. It is just a humble seed that is received as we are humble and sinners, that we should know and keep that knowledge in our hearts, that no matter what we do, we still have that beginning that humble beginning of being sinners. If God in His mercy, in His great mercy, transforms us into someone that will heal others, it is not because we have ontologically acquired or being granted this particular uh, grace that is ours. No, it is just the action of that particular seat of the Holy Spirit and the eternal logos of God that is acting in the, within ourselves to heal others. And that is the purpose of our lives, to actually produce good fruit, to become humble and heal others. And may God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, send His blessing to us all today and always.